So we decided we're going to go for the nice corally cream blush. I love this palette because this palette, you can use it for blush, you can use it for eyes, and you can even use it for lips. So it's like a, it does a little bit of everything. Usually cream blushes are very pigmented. So you want to make sure that you're not applying too much. Whenever you're trying out new products, always take a little bit and add it, or you can put it on your hand first to see, you know, how, how it comes across. Cause if let's say you're almost done and then boom, you put too much to take that off is so annoying, right? So when you're using, cause it happened to me. So <laughs> that's why I'm letting you know like that you can avoid the mistake of having to take off your makeup or like retouch it and then waste time, especially if we're a bit busy in the morning. So I'll be taking this same brush. And as you can see, I have just a little dab of the cream blush. See, just a tiny little bit. When this is your own, you know, kit, you can go straight in with the brushes. But like I said, always make sure your brushes are clean. So what we're going to do is that we're going to apply it a little bit on top of your cheekbone. Because remember, we kind of took that border of the cheekbone for the contour. Now we're layering. Now we're putting blush. And the blush, you want to kind of extend it kind of all the way to the hairline as well to create that lifting effect. And you want to stop where like the apple of your cheek begins. So smile. So you see, you don't want to apply blush here. Blush should be on top of the apple heading upwards to create that nice effect. And then we have the blush and we could just blend it out. You could even go with your fingers, dab it and just blend it out with your fingers too. That's the old school way. <laughs> That's the way that my mom always did it. Her lipstick was her blush and that was it. <laughs> All right, Joelle, so just apply a tiny little bit. Make sure that you're applying on top of your cheekbone. Perfect, like that, yeah. And you can smile at the same time to see where your cheekbones are. And this is great for summer, you know, if you have, if you're one of those few blessed people to have beautiful, flawless skin, you can just do a bit of like, you know, blush, cream blush bit of bronzer and you're pretty good with a bit of highlighter on it. You're fantastic. Nice, eh? Yes. It's very lively. I love the color. It's really pretty. Look, even if we put the, the color on the lips, look how pretty it looks. You can just rub them together. So now we're going to cover the eyelids so because we want to add a little bit of eyeshadow to just bring out her eyes a bit make it a bit luminous so remember we always need to do a primer because the primer is going to allow the skin to be prepped and like that you won't have that creasing and the colors are going to show because if you put it directly onto your skin our skin is porous and it's going to absorb all that pigment so you won't really get to see the product for what it's for all right, so we're going to start applying on her eye. 